Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. Well, let us go to the book of Galatians, chapter 6. And we read verse 7 up to 10. Chapter 6, verse 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For who he, so, sorry, for he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word and reveal it unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now here we are reading in the book of Galatians where Paul was writing to the nation of Galatians, and he was telling them, please, my brethren, my brothers, do not be deceived. Can you tell the person that is close to you? God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that same, what he has sown, is the same thing that this man is going to reap. And I have entitled the message of today, you will reap what you have sown. I want us to understand today, this beautiful Sunday, that God has commissioned us as farmers. Paul made as an example, a very beautiful example, and speak about sowing. Hallelujah. Now, where we are reading the Bible says, God is not mocked. Whatever that we are sowing each and every day, if you go to your garden and you plow and you sow spinach, cabbage will never come out. If you sow cabbage, spinach will never come out. That is why the Bible says, whatever you are sowing, that is what you are going to reap. Because you can never get a different thing of the seed that you have planted inside the soul. Can somebody say hallelujah? Now, as Christians, we are husbandmen. We are farmers. We are in the garden of God each and every day. And we are plowing. And somebody will then ask me, Mama, when you say we are plowing, what is it that we are plowing? We are plowing good works. We are putting seeds in the ground so that tomorrow we can reap good things also. Hallelujah. Now, if we don't plow, there is nothing that we will put in the ground. Because firstly, we must plow first. Like what my prophet was saying, you dig your foundation, you find rocks, you find plastics, bottles, and whatever, you take them out. So that when you come to make a foundation, the foundation will stand. So now, when you are in the house of God, there are things that you have to take out so that you can be able to put a good seed into that same ground. Now, as we are children of God, we are plowers, we are husbandmen, so we are working in the garden of God, in the field of God. Now, when we are plowing, busy 
keep plowing. There are a lot of challenges when we are doing our job. So the Bible says, now you plowers, you children of God, do not be deceived by anything when you are busy plowing each and every day. Why? Because God is not mocked. Whatever that you are going to put in the ground, this is what you are going to get after some days. Can somebody say hallelujah? Now when we are plowing in the house of God, we are directed by the word of God, the way in which we are supposed to plow. Ne? So now when we are in the house of the Lord, or in Nakokiona, the time is right. We are told by the word of God, time is right. For you to go and plow. Why? Because the word of God is filled by the spirit of God. In other words, when we plow in the field of God, the director is the spirit of God. The director is the spirit of God that tells, tells us what is it that we have to do in this time. What is it that we have to plow and put in the ground in this time? There is a word in the Bible that says in everything there is a season and there is a time. A time to every purpose under heaven. Now as children of God, when we are plowing in the garden of God, when the spirit of the Lord is directing us, somebody will then ask and say, what is it that I have to do to show that I'm plowing? This is what you do. When you are in the house of work, you are plowing when you do good works. That's number one. Number two, you are plowing when you are in the house of the Lord, when you serve in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number three, you are plowing in the house of the Lord when you give. Can somebody say give? You are plowing in the house of the Lord when we love one another. We are plowing in the house of the Lord when we do what the word of the Lord says. Hallelujah. Now, when we are sowing in the house of the Lord, these five things that I've spoken, they are called good seeds. The Bible says when we have read first, God is not mocked. For whatever a man soweth, that is what you are going to reap. Because God is watching over us when we are doing this in his field. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell somebody that is close to you, we are in God's field here. Keep watching Charis TV.